Hello and welcome to another edition of Chemo Toaster Video Magazine. I'm your host, Jake Vickers. In this edition of Chemo Toaster Video Magazine, we're going to cover a user request, and that's how to back up your mail server. Uh, I don't think I've covered this in any of the previous videos, and uh, while I've talked about it quite a bit on the mailing list, uh, I, well, I haven't covered it in a video, so here we are because the user requested it. Pretty easy, huh? You make a request and I do a video on it. Uh, now, the backup script is a script that uh, was originally written by uh, Nate Davis uh, many, many years ago. And I took, uh, or at least he fleshed out the initial part of it. Uh, and actually, it was a working, uh, pretty much a working script. Uh, I took the script and then heavily modified it to back up uh, more than uh, what he had initially planned for. Uh, and we ended up with a backup script that should back up pretty much your entire system. And hand in hand with this, I also wrote a restore script that will restore the backup file onto a new server. And the advantages of this are is you can now back up your server, which is going to include all the configuration uh, files, it's going to include all the emails, and it's going to include the database information. So it's going to include a couple other small little uh, details that people have requested, such as the squirrel mail preferences, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's going to put all that in one big archive. Now the restore script, what you do is you take that archive and you move it to, uh, basically if, you, if something happens to your Qmail server and you have this backup file somewhere else, we're going to go with a hypothetical example here. You build a brand new mail server from bare metal uh, using my ISO if you want. Uh, that one will get you up and running the fastest, uh, which you can get, you can get more information about the ISO at iso.cumotoaster.com. Uh, that'll get you a Chemo Toaster server up and running uh, probably in about 15 minutes from bare metal once you actually have all the parts put together. And once that server is up and running, uh, all you have to do is get the backup file to it, however you feel like doing it. I usually use SCP or a thumb drive depending on uh, how big it is and how accessible the server is to me. Once you get the backup file there, make sure the backup file is in your slash root directory. Uh, and that's slash R-O-O-T, not in your root directory, but your root home directory. Uh, once the backup file is in there, um, the well, since you installed from the ISO, you actually have a, a complete and you actually have a complete Chemo Toaster server already running. Uh, if you decide not to go with the ISO, what you'd want to do is from a bare metal machine, go ahead and install CentOS or your operating system of choice, uh, and then install Chemo Toaster. It's very important that you do have Chemo Toaster fully installed on the machine you're going to restore to. Remember, the restore file only contains the emails, the database, and the configuration file. So you actually do need to have Chemo Toaster installed on the machine before you can put the restore, uh, the restore backup onto there. Uh, otherwise, you're just restoring some files and they're not actually going to do anything without the supporting uh, daemons. So once you have Chemo Toaster installed, you will run the restore script, and it's going to look in the roots home directory for this restore file, and it's going to uncompress it, and it's going to go ahead and start moving all the files where they need to be. It's going to drop the VPOP mail database. Uh, so if you have anything in the VPOP mail database currently, you're going to lose it. That's why this needs to be a brand new clean machine that you're going to restore to because it's going to drop that database because then it's going to recreate the database. I know it seems kind of funny for that to happen, but that's just the way it has to go. It's going to recreate the database and then it's going to import the VPOP mail database information from the old server onto the new one. You'll find that uh, this is a really, uh, it's actually a pretty automated method of uh, backing up and restoring your server uh, in the event of any type of natural disaster, catastrophe, um, you know, whatever. You get a divorce, your wife keeps the house, your server's left there. Uh, this way you can at least uh, build yourself a new server and uh, get your email back. Um, once it's all restored, uh, just do a simple reboot and the machine should come back up and it will act just like it did before, assuming that you're on the same IP address uh, and other information like that, unless you change uh, the background information such as your DNS entries. And to show you how the restore script in particular works, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the machine we've been using in previous videos and we'll go ahead and we'll get logged in here. Okay, and in one of the previous videos, uh, we did install the Chemo Toaster Plus package, I believe. 
Now, if you've been following along the videos, this is the same video that we have uh, been using since video one, um, where I showed you how to install. So yes, you can see that Chemo Twister Plus is installed, uh, and that's going to make everything a lot easier for you. If you did not have Chemo Twister Plus installed, you would need to go to the Chemo Twister Plus website, which is just at QTP com, or you can just go to cumultoaster.com and there's a link for that on that page there. Since we already have Cumultoaster Plus installed, a um, little background piece of information there. I used to maintain the backup script by itself, uh, but then once I put the Cumultoaster Plus package together, uh, I included the backup script in there and I used to keep it available as a standalone script and as a script in the Chemo Toaster Plus package. Well, that became quite the headache for me to manage uh, because uh, some of the things in Chemo Toaster Plus, uh, well, in the script itself, I had to account for some things in Chemo Toaster Plus that were not in a standalone, and it just really got to be a hassle for me to maintain a script in two locations. Uh, so I drop the standalone script and I only keep it now in the Chemo Toaster Plus package. So if you want the backup and restore scripts, uh, you'll need to go to the Cumo Toaster Plus website and get that installed. Uh, you could browse the Cumo Toaster Plus source code and download just the backup and just the restore portions if you really want to. Um, but you'll find that it uh, works a lot better when the rest of the Cumo Toaster Plus package is being used. Now to access the backup script, it's just real simple. QTP-menu to get into the menu. Uh, actually, no, we don't have the backup script in the menu. All right, my mistake there. Okay, uh, QTP-backup. And what this will do, this is, it went ahead and it ran. Uh, since we didn't have a lot of email in this, since it is a test server, and it's not actually using a real domain, um, it didn't take too long to run. But once you run the QTP backup script, what it's going to do is, as it said here, it runs the backup, and the backup is complete and located in slash backup slash QMail BKUP. Let's go ahead and go check that directory out. And you can see there that we have the backup file. Let's get a longer directory listing so we can see how big it is. Uh, and what you'll see here is it's dated uh, 2009, October 27th at 1520. That happens to be my particular time that I did ran this backup dash backup dot tar dot gz and now to restore this file what you do is you would transfer this file to the new machine in some way shape or form however you feel like getting it there uh, and then you would run the qtp dash restore script uh, and that would look for this file in the slash root directory or roots home directory uh, and then restore it the advantage to having the date in the file is you know uh, if you run it multiple times and you have multiple backups uh, you know what's the most current one uh, I do recommend you keep a couple backups uh, kind of rotated around there you also want to note that uh, for upgrades this is also not a bad idea either if you're making a major upgrade in your Cumul Toaster system, uh, you definitely want to do a backup. That way if you do the upgrade and for whatever reason something goes awry and it ends up completely and totally messing up your system, uh, it does help to have a backup file because once the system is back up and running, even though the user information is, we'll say, trashed, uh, you can run the restore script and re-import that information back in. I've never seen an instance where that does happen, but, you know, we won't rule it out. I've personally used this when upgrading hardware. A lot of times you'll find that, uh, you know, if you've had a server running for a couple years, the price on uh, bigger, better, faster servers just gets so low that it just makes sense to go ahead and upgrade the hardware. In which case, you just go ahead and build yourself a new machine and you get Cumul Toaster installed and then run the restore script to restore your information to there. Uh, hopefully you're giving it the same exact information as the old server, in which case you just unplug the old one and plug the new one in and um, you know, hopefully nobody really notices too much. So that's going to conclude this video. We've showed you how to back up your Chemo Toaster server, and we've also brushed on how to restore it. We thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next week.